they did have a close relationship at, at the beginning. Uh, you know, when Bruce got into the film industry, you know, my dad did his thing and Bruce did his thing. Um, but they were friends. He, he'd been by our house. We have many pictures of my sisters and myself with them um, way before he became famous. Early 1960s, um, my father was approached by some friends of his from San Francisco Chinatown area. My dad was living in L.A. at the time. And they, and they uh, were telling him about a guy that was really quick. He was very, very uh, talented and that my dad should meet this guy. And he winds up going to San Francisco and he met this guy named Bruce Lee. And my dad was impressed with his skill set. He noticed that Bruce Lee was very cocky. He's very arrogant. He's a very uh, confident individual. But he immediately said, but he had a right to be. He had a skill set that was phenomenal. And, uh, and he wanted to feature his um, skill set at uh, a tournament that he ran um, for a number of years, like 40 years we ran the tournament. And uh, at the, his very first tournament was called the International Cry Championship. We, he invited Bruce Lee to, to participate. Um, he had a, a producer friend of his uh, come and film it. And uh, the producer friend said, hey, uh, we're looking for some uh, some uh, martial artists that we could put in a film. Uh, do you, you have anybody that you can show us? And my dad had the film footage. He showed it to the guy who did the Batman series back in the 60s. And uh, he introduced it to that same director who uh, had a spinoff called The Green Hornet. Uh, so technically, my father was able to get him a job on The Green Hornet, which launched his American film career. And uh, pretty much that's what the, the, the estate kind of gives my dad that credit for helping launch Bruce Lee's career.